Greetings, citizens. Well, of course, as many of you know, patch 2.4T is out and available for every backer in Star Citizen. Now, there is also let you know a free shotgun that you can rent on the PTU website. Uh, basically, you can grab as many of them as you want to test a new shotgun for ships and see how you like it. Now, the thing I want to discuss real quick about this patch is that some issues have been resolved. Uh, I do find the frame rate on this is quite remarkable. I was on uh, a couple different servers that were actually packed to the gills, and the frame rate was pretty consistent. I had a couple quick freezes, but nothing really to write home about, and uh, the mission seemed to be working fine. The one thing you had to be concerned about the most right now when it comes to combat is that missiles seem to, while they, a missile hitting a ship with full shields up doesn't really do anything, uh, it will kill the pilot. <laughs> so if you see missiles coming in, take them very seriously right now because they seem to go straight to your face and uh, that's not good. Purchasing items like personal weapons and whatnot seems to still have some hangups. As you can see here, I'm trying to equip a gun, but every time when I look at my character, the gun's not equipped. But if you look here, I look away from the gun, I look back, and it tells me I need to equip it again. So there's still some sort of delay going on or something on the server side. Uh, buying ammo still sees, seems to be problematic at this point in time. So my recommendation to you is to get the energy rifle since it has 120 rounds and you really don't have to worry about the ammo capacity. Probably the best way to go right now is to just buy the energy weapons in general. And here I'm just showing off the, the same kind of glitch. You're still having the ammo hangups. I'm sure they'll get that resolved soon. They've managed to fix the screens for ship summoning, so now it will tell you if you summon a ship. And today, I didn't have any of my ships on any of the times I went to any different server actually spawn in the air. So they may have fixed that issue, though I did have this one particular error I'll show you here where the ship actually spawned into the platform, which was kind of weird. Now as I get close, just like the... The old bug where if it was hanging in the air and you walk close to it, it would drop down. Here as I get close, it's just going to pop up. Kind of just similar in that respect, but a lot less annoying. And uh, yeah, so let's cover the ports real quick. I'll talk about what's still going on with that and go from there. Ports are still having the problems dealing with uh, loading items that are, example, in stacks like the missiles. Uh, where you go ahead and select the missile, put it, put it on the port. It won't subtract from your overall total, and basically uh, you have to go to um, a Cryastro repair center in order to fill your stock up, even though you've actually selected. So you can pull open the slot, and it will say you've got, like, say, a Rattler 2 is what I'm using here, but it actually won't have it equipped. It'll kind of recognize that you put a Rattler 2 or want a Rattler 2 in that slot, and even though you have the stack of missiles, it doesn't pull from it. So... Um, you know, probably my suggestion here is until they fix this, don't change out any of your missiles. The reason I'm having to go through all this is because I changed out my missiles after the patch came out, and I've been kind of stuck with slowly getting this problem worked away, um, like one missile at a time. So my recommendation to you is, is for now, try to run as much stock stuff as you can until they fix it. Well, that's all I really wanted to say today about it. Of course, uh... Go ahead and leave your comments down below. Tell me the things that you found if you're finding the same issues, if you're having the same problems. Uh, tell me what your experience is with the frame rates. And don't forget, guys, to report bugs and things that you find. Uh, even if they're duplicates or whatnot, at least confirm that they exist for the devs out in the issue council. It's very important to help narrow down and fix the things that are causing problems. And on another note, I just wanted to thank everyone who's been adding comments to the discussion. I really do enjoy your feedback, and I appreciate... Uh, seeing if you guys are experiencing the same things or if your experiences are something different. So, hey citizens, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Well, and I can never pronounce his name. Mio, Mio Hufumato of <laughs> CIG. Oh, uh, wait, wait, who <laughs> It's M E O H F U M A D O. Oh, like, you, can't, you can't spell things as a man what you're talking about. Whatever, just continue. <laughs> anyway, this dev from CIG with, a, with an amazing. Don't league. spell things at me! <laughs>